Hey guys, what is up? My name is Gabe, aka Gibson. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. Now, today I've got the day off, and um, I've recently got this trailer here. Um, I picked it up not long ago, a couple of weeks ago. Now, the reason why I picked it up was because I got it for free, really, but um, it needs work. And I've got a big idea about turning it into a camper trailer. It needs a lot of work, but um, I thought it'd be cool to film this and put it in parts for you guys and for you guys to see all the builds i'm doing and whatnot because um in the next couple of weeks we're actually gonna be going camping for a for the long weekend and yeah i think it'd be cool to bring it out and show you guys how it works and whatnot now i'll show you what work needs done to it a bit of work i need to fix up the jolly wheel the clamp here one of these bolts we've got to cut off and you know, put a new bolt in there. I need new lights for it. These work, but I want brighter ones and better looking ones. Um, the whole trailer, I'll be trying to sand back and repaint. Um, and yes, yeah, so I've got a cool idea about taking all these bars off and I'll be re-welding re thicker bars for the rooftop tent to sit on top and I'll have a solar panel as well. Uh, what else? Yeah, in here will be where the bikes can stay. So I've got to rig up some hooks on the outsides to tie up the bikes. Wheels coming off to be painted. Yeah, bits and pieces. And, and as we go, I'll just be showing you guys what I'm doing to it. And yeah, if you really like this video and you like the idea of me doing parts of it and my build of the trailer and whatnot, um, yeah, give a thumbs up. Leave it down in the comments if you liked it and I'll keep putting out videos like this but yeah i'm using dad's workshop out the back here because he's got electricity and he's got pretty much every tool under the sun so really helpful so yeah i thought i'd bring the trailer down here and got the day off today so i'll be working on it it's new bars needs new bars like this a bit thicker probably or i'll end up chopping it because i'll be using hooks on the outside of this to hold the bike and whatnot but yeah, as for you who are wondering where my car is, I'm using my missus car. Because my nav is actually in the shop right now, which I'm so excited about. It's just got new rims on it put on that I've made a video about, but I have not uploaded yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's in the shop right now getting the timing chain done, AC compressor clutch done, airbags are getting done. Um, yeah, pretty expensive, but got to do what got to do you know when it comes back there's an exhaust going to be getting put on the i drive is going to get going to get put on sorry um and a custom air box so i'm so excited so i'm trying to get this done before i kind of get the car done which i doubt i will but we'll see how we go and then yeah on the long weekend or one of the weekends we go camping bring out the rig and show you guys after all this time I haven't had my car, really. I haven't had it for two weeks, and I'm missing it. <laughs> I'm missing it a lot, but I'm just so keen to get it back. It's going to be running so good. But, yeah, let's get into it. So, first up, I'll be taking these bars off. I've got this. Take this off. I'll show you what that is in the set. I'll just get these off. Pretty easy to take off, that's why I'm really taking them off. Just like that, taking them off, looks like a brand new trailer. <laughs> nah, but anyway, for those of you who are wondering what this here was, um, pretty much just a water holder. Um, it's got a tap on the end here. Just on the end there, and then you can fill it up on top of here. It holds about 20 to 25 litres of water, which isn't too bad. It's pretty handy when you're out on the tracks and out camping. You wash your dishes, wash your hands. Um, yeah. There you go. you got a bit of water. Water for your dog. I mean, I would probably wouldn't drink it, but... So yeah, get that off. Put it aside. The bars. And there you have it, the trailer. So first up, I'll be working on the jolly wheel. 
get the clamp on and then one of these bolts you see back there spins like that i've got to re-weld tack that so i can take this off and then i'll be putting on new bolts and that because at the moment this tailgate doesn't come down and it's kind of annoying when you're loading on the bike or anything like that but yeah yeah pretty much this bolt here is all rounded off it's rooted same with the nut in there um i gotta take this whole clamp off and then i've got to grind that off put a new bolt on probably weld it to this we'll see how we go and then that one there obviously we're going to cut off and then weld another bolt in there the nut sorry but yeah we'll see how we go i'm also going to put a toolbox just at the front here bolt it down i've got it in the back of the car put there just for more storage and then as we go on, I'll, go on, I'll be adding more things on. Put a toolbox on top of each wheel there. But yeah, I'll see how we go. More ideas pop in my head. But the aim of the game is to have the trailer really suited to me and my lifestyle. So what's easier for me to when setting up camp and unloading trailer and loading bikes back on and whatnot. But yeah. Still doing good, nearly coming up to eight months, I reckon. Yeah, she's a good girl. Getting bigger pretty quick. She's getting a lot fatter now. So I've just got it off. Just two long bolts that go through this chassis. Hold it on there, got that off. And now pretty much get that nut there out. That should be fun. And then chop that off and put a new bolt in there. So guys, put my jacket on, it's getting cold. But basically what I've done is, I didn't remove any of the bolts. I've just, see if you can see, I've just cut that one a bit shorter where it was rounded off. And then I've just put a new washer on the outside, kind of like a stopper so it tightens it up. Um, yeah, just one of the quickest ways that we really can do it. It's pretty dodgy, but bit of sanding back and once I put paint over it, it'll be schmick. Um, but yeah, it's nice and secure now. So that's one job down, down. Might try that tailgate now, see how we go. Um, can't be on it all day though, that's the only thing. Got other things to do. But um, yeah, I'll try to get as much done today as I can. And yeah, we'll see how we go. So yeah, jockey wheel is all done. Now work on that tailgate so we can get the tailgate open. And then we'll see how we go on time. We'll get the uh, toolbox mounted on the front. And then I've got to start looking for um, metal tube or something like that so I can build a um, Kind of like a canopy or a big frame so I can hold the rooftop tent, something sturdy. Get that welded up to the base as well. But yeah, as we go, I'll do parts of it. Can't do it all for you guys in one day. Sorry about that. Alrighty guys, so I've had to weld the nut in there, or the bolt, the end of the bolt, to get this undone. Rough welds, but might replace them, might be covered up, who knows. 
but it works, so you can't complain. The other one there comes off as well. So now I can drop the tailgate if I need to. When I repaint the whole trailer, it'll be a lot easier. Easier to take up the bikes. And I can also use this tailgate to for a ramp as well for the bikes. So I'm gonna be um, probably putting some supports in there. And now the fact that I can take it off makes life so much more easier. So with that done, we're gonna head onto the front, get that toolbox screwed on. And then um, probably end up painting these wheels black. I've got a can of black that was lying around, so I might as well do that. Um, other than that, that's probably it. It's got rust spots everywhere, but I'll be sanding them back, replacing the metal if I need to, and then, yeah, obviously a good coat of paint on that all. But yeah, other than that, it's coming along nicely. New lights, we've got to order in. Um, but yeah, cool. Just putting oil on these the bolts and nuts. Just make it a bit easier for them to come out. Because they were pretty seized up, so anything really that can help. I'm hoping the toolbox will sit right in between the jolly wheel and the, and the top of the trailer. Fingers crossed. But if not, then I'll just look for another toolbox because it's real handy to have storage somewhere where it's not actually inside the top of the trailer so you've got more room inside. So that's why I'm looking to put toolboxes on the outsides of the trailer to give us a bit more room for our bikes and whatnot, tall bikes. And I'm putting the port in front. Fits nicely. That's oh, beautiful. It's missing the, the locking mechanism, but I think I've got it in here somewhere. I've just got to re-river it. Put new rivets in it and that's it. That looks way better. More storage. Got our chairs in there, our tents. Full drive straps. Alrighty guys, so there you have it, the toolbox. Haven't mounted on just yet. Um, put the latch back on. A little crooked. But yeah, that's sort of how it's gonna look. I've also found these. These are off my Navara. I've taken them off the tub. They're just tie down points really, so you, they're pretty cool. So you can see if I can do one hand. You can like move where you wanna tie down. You can move from there to there, anywhere you want. I've got two of them. So I reckon I'll mount those in the front there. So I'll be able to tie my bike down, any other bikes I've got. So that comes in handy. Lucky I didn't throw those out. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna jack up the trailer now and get these wheels off and paint them. See how we go. Or I might just be rough with it and paint straight over it. Because I'm getting hungry right now and kind of um, want to go eat. So we'll call it a day. Yeah, so I'll, I'll probably just rough paint those and then I think that's it. I'll put it aside here and put a tarp over it and stop it from getting wet from, from now on because now I'm putting work into it. Before I didn't really care. Um, but yeah, other than that, needs lights, needs paint job, needs frame for the rooftop tent. New, yeah, a few new things, and that's it, I reckon. Anyway, I'll paint these, and then I'll show you guys what it kind of looks like. Other than that, pretty stoked. A little bit of paint makes it look so much better. Gave him a quick wipe down. Got any excess old paint that's hanging off. Yeah, should be right. Looks good. But yeah. So this week, when I finish work, I'll probably be dropping in and doing more work to it. I've got to go buy steel for the frame and yeah, a bunch of little bits and pieces. 
other than that it's coming up nicely finally done a start finally really started it so yeah ever since i got it, i've always been saying yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it but it's been busy so now i'm holding everything aside and putting this first um but yeah i'm stoked next month or so maybe a couple of weeks should be all ready to go and take it on the tracks so keen i'll have a good car to tow it cool just like that oh, something riding a dirt bike let me ride too fatty um thank you for watching um please give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you like these little short videos well not really that short but i mean parts of the build leave down in the comments that you liked it and if not then i can do a one whole video about a build so 40 minute long video of the whole entire build and then i can upload it but it's up to you guys you have to let me know um but yeah other than that i reckon i'm gonna call it a day yeah thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed join the family if you like this video give it a thumbs up till next time